In June 2021, Jackie Dobbs bought a small piece of land next to Andy and Jody Sue on Ben Hill. On June the 14th, the day before summer vanished, he went there with plans to stay. But as he arrived, he got into an argument with Andy and Jody Sue over property lines. Recently, Don B released a 48 minute long conversation with Dobbs where he explains his version of events. If you feel like watching the entire conversation, I really recommend it and you'll find a link in the description box. Well, I got there on the 14th of June in 19 and, and 20 and 21. I got there around 4, 4 o'clock. Guess who's the first person to come by and watch the number pick up this? That's Don. Yep. It seemed to me that Don had something on his mind. And this this was uh, this was the day before? Yeah, the day before. Oh, okay. Yeah, he seemed like he had something on his mind. Do you ever see a man? Note how he claims Don seemed to have something on his mind, which reminded me of Dudley's statement. He was the one that was sitting on a damn toilet the day that he fired me, staring at his phone like he lost something in his life. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. That was on a Saturday, a Monday. That's when I got fired. You know, and I was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? You look like you lost your best friend. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know this. And, and God's demeanor, when I met him, it seemed like he had something on his mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but, you know, we talked a short while. Many of Dobbs' so. statements concerns Jody Sue. She reacted to the conversation and called him a liar pretty much throughout the entire video. In May 2021, the month before everything went down, Jody Sue went live on Facebook and expressed her feelings regarding an offer she had made that wasn't accepted by the seller. Seven thousand dollars to try to build a half a million dollar house. On that piece that um, I hope falls off the goddamn bank. I hope her greed eats her and everybody else. Had she taken my offer, which is really stupid enough to move into fucking Beach Creek in somebody else's fucking yard, because they know they can die. So somebody needs to maybe whisper that uh, for the first time in history of Beach Creek, people are tired of out of fucking staters and uh, out of towners thinking they're going to move the fuck in there and do this bullshit. I've never seen anybody move on top of anybody else that wasn't family inside of the country like this, but here we are. Uh, but the point is, is people would have made it more had they just taken our fucking shit. And none of this would be happening and people wouldn't be in danger. I don't really yeah. don't give a good. Well, yeah, we talked a short while. Maybe two minutes and he's gone and he alerted his uh, acquaintances. Nobody alerted anything. The monster and I woke up from nap because he had come home early in the day, and that was the plan. And the tree cutters cut out early, and whatever. I want a goddamn polygraph, and I want the rest of these motherfuckers to go fall off a cliff somewhere. Shut the whole fuck up. And about 15 minutes later, here comes Jody and Andy Sue just raising sand. Andy and Jody Sue are raising hell on me. Uh, I can tell I wasn't too much welcome there. Huh. Although, on the land, on the land, I was trespassing on my own land. Yeah. But... <laughs> so they had an argument, the cops were called, and Dobbs ended up leaving to stay at the motel for the night. He also speaks about how Andy and Jody Sue went looking for him that night. I know Jody Sue has addressed this prior, and to my understanding, she claimed that they were searching for him because he gave them bad vibes and they wanted to know where he was to feel safe for the night. But Dobbs has another theory. On the evening of the 14th, they're, they're saying that they were they were looking for me. Why were they looking for you? I was allowing legal action against the Bernards, I think. Uh, well, I mean... Be, yeah. I, I've got other theories, too. I'm thinking something may have happened. 
theories, but yet the feds have said they are positive. Summer was fine on the 15th. They were looking to knock me off and plant evidence. Huh. Wow. <laughs> that's just a, that's a, that's a... That'd be a no, sir. Holy shit. Okay. Hi, Precious. It's time for treats. This is a post Dobbs made way back. The day that that little girl went missing, um, were you even up in the Beach Creek area? No. Okay. I always have to go out and walk around every hour or two, so we're walking around the grounds every hour or two that afternoon. Right. And I'm sure that the TBI has all the tapes of that day. I hope they do anyway. On the way home on the 16th, Andy Bernard called me, and he told me he was giving me the TBI's number, so I called the TBI. Uh-huh. Before I left Tennessee, I called them, and they didn't say not to read Tennessee. So, and I didn't have a place to stay in Tennessee, so I went back down to clean up. I, I talked to FBI. The FBI sent two guys to see me since I've been or since that interview in June, I, they haven't been bothering me. They checked my story out and, you know. Yeah. Dobbs also mentions Judicius' dog, which makes her believe he's lying. I'm, I'm hoping I'd be there and I could turn Elvis Lewis anywhere off the leash, but I don't know about that place. Judicius had that big ass dog up there. Well, I'll tell you what. Hey, let me tell you something. He could have never seen that dog. So, Dobbs, I'm going to ask. If you ever seen that dog, that means you were up further on the property at some point that you claim you were never on prior. If you ever laid eyes on that fucking dog, Dobbs, that means you were at the very top. Why? Oh, boy. Means you were there before, Dobbs. Dobbs had posted regularly about missing children on his Facebook before June 15th, which is something many have found suspicious. He addressed why he was doing so. Uh, like I say, I, I, I was sharing those pictures from that center uh, with good intentions. Yeah. You know, the center for missing and exploited children. Oh, okay. At the end of the interview, Don B and Dobbs had a good talk on where the focus needs to be, but Judy Sue was still very upset. Yeah, I mean, looking looking back on all that now, you probably had no idea what was coming, did you? I had no idea. It's the craziest thing that ever happened to me in my life, Don. Yeah, well, I tell you what, that, that, what we can, I mean, everybody just needs to settle down yeah. and, 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 uh, because we, we have to stop and think, what would Summer want? That's what we've got to strive to do. Is is you know if if you know if Summer would want us to not. I tell you, Summer wouldn't like most of you motherfucking YouTubers. These are fact. You people suck. She wouldn't like shit any of you motherfuckers are doing. That's what Summer. You pieces of shit. You know, whether whether the outcome's gonna be good or bad, you know, she would yeah. she would want us to yeah. focus on her and not us. Okay, she wouldn't like most of you motherfuckers. Yeah. That, that picture of her in the back of the seat of the truck there, that, that is awful. Kind of Shut the fuck up. Dobbs, Jody Sue, Andy, and this land dispute may not have anything to do with Summer's disappearance, but I do feel that there seems to be many coincidences happening all at once. We have a piece of land being sold to an outsider, the land dispute on the 14th. Also on the 14th, Dudley gets fired and Don is acting in a noticeable way, according to both Dobbs and Dudley. All on the 14th. 
On top of that, we've been told that Don began taking the Subaru to work only a few days prior to the 15th, then poof, on the 15th, Summer vanishes right in the middle of a CPS investigation. I can't help but to wonder, was this the perfect opportunity for the abductor, supposedly someone known to Summer, to put the blame on someone else? Could it have been part of an intentional build-up of the perfect storm for the perfect crime? Or is it all coincidental? What do you think?